and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. This is a follow-up video on how to apply CA signed certificate on your DNA center. I have done a previous video in past and that's where we did many a things from DNAC CLI. But now the process has improved drastically and I'll show you um, how easy it, it has become now. All right, so right now let's see what is my certificate look like. As you can see, my certificate is invalid. It's because self-signed certificate. And if I go to details, you will see I have a DNS name local. And what I want you to focus on is DNS names, Kong, Maglev, that system, and all those. So these are all internal DNS naming, right? Which DNS as a uh, chassis uses. There are a couple of IP addresses inbuilt there, but Anyways, this certificate is not trusted because it's not signed by um, a verified CA certificate author authority, but it is a self-signed certificate. So what we are going to do, we are going to replace it with a, someone uh, trusted. So let's talk about CA authority uh, real quick. So you know that uh, there are CAs, uh, many top root CAs like VeriSign is one of them and so on. Uh, depend where you are in in the part of the world there are multiple CAs and this those CAs they are responsible for signing your certificate that means they confirm that you are you are the one who you are claiming to be that means they can confirm they can put trust uh, behind you that yes you are the correct person or xyz.com what you are claiming to be right and then most of our browsers they have those uh, CAs as trusted. So let me quickly show you where the browser. So this is a Chrome browser where they store uh, certificates. So if you go to your browser setting, privacy and security, you can come to manage certificate. And if you come to manage certificate, um, and if you click that, you will see that my browser has these many CAs which are trusted. So I have Amazon root CA because of AWS uh, services, Apple, a very big CA signer, and so on. You can see DigiCert, Global Sign, VeriSign. So these are all called root CA. And they can sign a certificate directly, or maybe they put their trust behind a intermediary CA. And intermediary CA is the one who you reach out to get yourself uh, validated. All right, so this is all about trust chain. Now let's go back to our topic of DNAC. So what you can do, you can simply search here also. Certificate. And you see there are a few things here under set, uh, system settings. So let's look at peak, uh, trust pool first. And this is just like your browser has a trusted certificate, your DNAC also has trusted certificate. Okay, but this is not where we want to make our changes. We want to change the system certificate, right? And this is right now my self signed certificate based on uh, generated by DNAC itself, based on uh, my FQDN or a host name. If you want to read more about how to uh, apply system certificate. Th there is a link within your DNAC itself, and you can go and open that document, and it tell you step by step how you are going to apply the certificate. Like if you click on manage certificate, and this is exactly this document we used when we um, applied a CSI certificate in previous video. I'm going to show you the improvement because right now you'll see that in this document according to this document we have to create a open ssl file we have to put the alt claim ip addresses etc to generate the self uh, uh, csr so you are generating a, a private key based csr and that that everything we did via cli but now the process has simplified that mean within your dna center you have capability to generate new csr all right, I'll show you one more thing uh, before we generate a new CSR. Uh, 
So right now you can see my CA, uh, my certificate is self-signed certificate and you can verify that using CLI as well uh, or any terminal. So this is my ter typical Mac terminal. I'm saying echo open SSL server client show cert server name server IP and I'm trying to connect to my DNAC at port 443 then redirect this uh, to null and just open x509 certificate okay here you will see what is my validity looks like though this is a self-signed certificate still it has a validity of one year and then you will see x095v3 san and this is this exactly same thing what i shown you via bra at my browser same ip addresses same dns name etc all right you need to make sure ca is false that means it is not signed by any intermediary or root ca and once you get it signed and replace the certificate this will uh, this should say uh, true or critical all right so let's go back to dnc here we clicked on generate a new csr because we want to replace the certificate so before you replace the certificate what do you have to do you have to generate a csr and i want to type him but that is not needed right now and you will see that when you generate the csr dnac itself include the private key or create a private key and you will see it right now so this form will be presented to you and it will have few fields pre-populated like uh, digest and key length 4096 is a good key length uh, key uses key and uh, cipherment digital signature and all those things this default value is good enough all right unless you have any compliance requirement to go to um, a lower sha, sha or something right i would advise you put your dnac host name as a common name so you can replace it and then you fill out other things like country region locality email and all those things the point to note here is uh san ip so you will see that some ip addresses are pre-populated and those ip addresses are basically your cluster ip if the, it's a, a cluster dnac that means you have more than one dnc node you will have all those ip populated here and virtual ips as well san dns if you are using uh, dnac for pnp and other things in your environment then you should add those subject alternative name um, many customers do pnp server dot uh, org dot com like cisco dot com or if you are doing some kind of wild carding and uh, or you are using sensor onboarding and uh, what what not you need to make sure that your dnac is able to serve those client with right type of certificate what they are expecting so you can add your san dns once you fill out this form this will generate a new csr you are going to copy and paste that csr and then now uh, after that the process is just like our previous video so you are going to copy and paste that csr take it to your ca ca will return you a certificate you are going to come here and all you have to do is replace the certificate so next time once uh, assuming you have the certificate with you which is signed by ca you're just going to say replace certificate and simply drag and drop the file i'm assuming you will get a, a pem file so that's all you have to drop that's it you don't have to drop any uh, private key that private key will be extracted automatically from your certificate where because you had generated a csr using dns center so all you have to do is come here and drop that um, certificate and update next time when you refresh your browser uh, if you are using some kind of ca for certificate signing which is trusted by your browser you will see a padlock appearing here and that means your website is secure or your application is secure and you can also go back and fire this command again and this time you should see san fields changing to whatever you put you have applied 
during generation of CR and you will see that basic constraint will change to uh, true or critical. I hope uh, this will help you. I know a lot of people want to uh, apply a CA science certificate on DNAC and this is definitely a recommended best practices. So please go ahead, uh, try this out. And if you have any questions, any doubt or any problem, feel free to put that down in co comment section. Share this video with your friends, your colleague uh, who are working on the product and um, make them successful. Thank you.